The poorest of all men is not the one without a scent, but the one without a dream. Anonymous. DZ Tribe, Josh Thomas, glad to have you here. Hey, while I have your attention, make sure to go to dozonedna.com to take your personal Do Zone DNA profile. Learn how you get stuff done so that you can build the world around you for optimal performance. Once again, that's dozonedna.com. Also, to make sure that you don't miss another episode, uh, please make sure that you subscribe, follow, leave a review on Apple and or Spotify. Super glad to have you. I want to talk about food, beverage, and labor today. Uh, A good friend of mine, his name is Ryan Jacobson. Spent a couple of decades in the uh, hotel industry. And at some point, uh, somebody convinced him that he needed to start a restaurant. And he was like, okay. And uh, so running a, uh, first of all, uh, I got to bring him on to tell some hotel stories because those are kind of crazy. Like everything that you could ever imagine from like the worst possible B movie horror movie and that has to do with a hotel motel kind of thing. Uh, he has lived it. Like that's his life. So he's, he's out of that business now. Uh, but he told me this story that stuck with me about a brief period of time that he, uh, ran and managed a restaurant. And uh, it's very difficult to be profitable and sustainable with a restaurant, even if you know what you're doing, but especially when you don't know what you're doing. Uh, So he's running this restaurant, and uh, it's not going very well. He's super stressed out all the time, uh, and he's finding uh, some exhaustion uh, is, is kind of creeping in here, and he's about ready to give up. And so one of the last ditch efforts that he takes was he went and found a consultant. Um, and so if you've ever watched any kind of reality TV shows like bar rescue or something like that, where the guy comes in and just like yells at people and changes up all this stuff and tells you that all your stuff is stupid and everything. (laughs) He said it was just like that. Okay. I can't do this story too much justice, but I felt like it was an important enough message that I wanted to share And so I want to get it out there. So this consultant is in here, and he's just tearing Ryan apart. He's tearing his team apart, tearing his restaurant apart. And he says, Ryan, quit messing around with all this stuff. They're bringing all these books to the table. Well, hey, are you doing this? Are you doing this? And he's like, no, I don't care about that. Throw all that out the window. There's only three things that matter when you're running a restaurant. Everything else is irrelevant. You only need to focus on your food costs, your beverage costs, and your labor costs. If you keep those in check, keep those three things in check, and you understand what they are at all times and how they're related to your bottom line, you will always come out on top. Food, beverage, labor. That's it. And the thing that really stuck out to me about this story, about that comment, first of all, the guy's a genius, to take something so complicated as running a, a, uh, a food service uh, where you are preparing food that some other human being is going to consume and narrowing it down to just those three things where nothing else literally matters, uh, that really helps create some clarity. And what I hear when he was telling his story is it's about the fundamentals, we can get cute with the promotions and the, the cute marketing campaigns and the text message lists and emails and all of those things. But does any of that really matter if you don't have your food situation under control as a restaurant? Does any of that really matter if you haven't figured out how to capitalize on your profits with your beverage? Uh, because beverage has a high profit margin. I don't know. I've never run a restaurant, but that's what they all tell me anyway. And then can do, do these promotions and marketing and all of this cool like you know campaigns and new specials and signature cocktails or whatever, uh, does any of that really matter if your labor costs are through the roof and it's eroding and maybe even possibly eliminating your profit margins? So 
The fundamentals of running a restaurant come down to controlling your food, beverage, and labor costs. What are the fundamentals of running a successful business in your industry? What are those two, maybe three things that you have to focus on that if they do not get taken care of, you're not going to be successful no matter what? And if they do get taken care of, you are going to be successful no matter what. Think about your industry. If you're a restaurant, that's easy, food, beverage, labor. But if you run a service-based business, it might be something different. It could be gas costs of taking the van out to see a a potential client. It could be uh, selling accessories or maintenance plans as a huge profit center. It could be sourcing the best materials uh, at the lowest possible price so that you can manage the markup and create a little bit of profit there. Uh, It could be finding the right people, even if you have to pay them a little bit more, uh, because knowing that if you're paying somebody a little bit more, you're getting a higher quality, a higher satisfaction, a higher sales rate on these maintenance plans, a higher conversion rate on the equipment, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and that comes into labor, okay? What is the food, beverage, and labor of your industry and of your business? What are those fundamentals? Are you really truly focusing on those two, maybe three fundamentals? And if those are not 100% in check and under control, what are you investing time and energy in that maybe doesn't matter, or more importantly, doesn't matter yet? Uh, A lot of times as entrepreneurs, we get stuck in this uh, constant battle that we're chasing the next thing that is shiny, whatever the next shiny thing is. I raise my hand and will tell you right now, I am 100% guilty of that. What are my three fundamentals? Well, you know, to be honest, like I said many times, I show up to these podcasts with no agenda, just a prompt. And now that I'm walking through this, I'm starting to realize I should probably take my own advice. What is my food, beverage, and labor for my business? How does that need to work? How do I need to refine that? And if I can't answer that question, should I even really be operating in a business? Probably not. I probably need to come back to you and get clarity on that because I haven't yet. It's so important of a question. I'm willing to admit to you, this is not something that I've nailed down. But that's kind of part of the journey. We're all taking this journey together. We're all figuring this out together. And so maybe we can take this as an exercise to figure out what is our food beverage, and labor for our specific business. I'd love to hear it from you. I'd love to hear that in the comments. I'd love to hear that on the social medias. Tell me about what's important to you. And as for Ryan, he did eventually listen to uh, his consultant, and he realized, okay, I've been focusing on the wrong things. I'm just going to come in and worry about food, beverage, and labor. And he was able to turn this restaurant around and turn it into a profitable business. He was able to recuperate the money he had lost when he was operating it at the beginning, and he was able to have a successful exit from that restaurant business very quickly afterwards. Now, it wasn't a huge windfall uh, of uh, profit for him, but he was able to dig himself out of a hole by focusing just on the fundamentals. And so, I would say, now that I've talked through this, sometimes I think talk. I don't know if you do that or not, but I like open my mouth, and I'm not really sure what the hell's going to come out of my mouth, uh, but I just start moving my lips, and and uh, you know words form, and that's what happens, right? And so I would say, as I'm thinking this through, putting myself on the spot, one of the things that's most important to me is lead generation, Okay. Who am I bringing into the top of the funnel? Okay, not just how many, but who. Who am I bringing into the top of the funnel? Okay, so that's lead generation. That is one fundamental for me. And then I would say conversion. Uh, Do I I offer the right tool for these people? Who am I bringing in and am I offering them the right tool? Something that they would benefit from and say yes to. 
And then economics would be the next thing that fits in for me. Is this something that I'm able to create a profitable business that I'm able to reinvest and continue to grow? And so a, uh, an, another old friend of mine, Jack Bourne, uh, created a, uh, what he calls the tactical triangle. And the tactical triangle is this kind of ever uh, evolving shape. It's a triangle it goes, and it starts with traffic and it moves to conversion, and it moves to economics, and each of them are kind of interdependent on the other. So mine, lead generation, converting to the right people, and then economics, traffic, conversion, economics. I think those are pretty solid fundamentals for any service-based business, but I challenge you to add some nuance to that. Come back to me, share that with me. What do you think are your fundamentals? What are your food, beverage, and labor for your industry? And how can we apply that to help us all grow? That's what I wanted to share with you today. Thank you, Ryan, very much for sharing that story with me. Uh, it's one thing I'll never forget. Uh, if you are not familiar with Ryan, you could probably reach him out on the socials. He's a pretty cool guy, uh, and he's got a lot of stuff to say, and he's had a really interesting life <laughs> and experiences. Uh, so for now, uh, we're going to wrap up. Think about what is your food, beverage, and labor for your business and share it with me. I look forward to hearing from you. And until then, hey, go do something.